little boats and we will each have a budget. Liz, you're up first. Let's see what your budget is. I got a thousand dollars. Whoa, that's a lot of money, Carter. All right, up next, let's see what my budget is. And I get one hundred dollars. All right, here we go. Ready? A thousand bucks. That's pretty Whoa. serious. Whoa. Okay. And last but not least, Andrew, what is your budget? One dollar. <laughs> Each of us will have the next hour to spend our budget and build the best boat that we possibly can. We're gonna be working in three different challenges, a float challenge, a race challenge, and a last to sink challenge. May the best boat win. We each have 60 minutes to build the best boat. Let's go! Woo, all right, I only got $1, but I'm a Boy Scout. I think I can still win. Let's go. Okay guys, so I actually have a budget of $1,000, which is actually a lot of money. So I'm running to the garage because I need some time to build this. And I'm off to the hoverboard garage. I can't believe I get $10,000 to spend. That is so much money. I already have this great idea where I'm gonna use some of my hoverboard parts. It's gonna be so high tech. I'm gonna go so fast, but first I have to get there. And man, this is a long run. We are buying all of our boat supplies from the Team Mars store, which is right in here. Check this out, guys. This is the start of the Team Mars store. We have a bunch of amazing things and we can go shopping in here and spend our budgets. I have $100 to spend. And so I'm just gonna buy this boat because I think this will be better than what most people are gonna make. Let's go. I spent my $100. I'm off to the pool to finish the build. I'm gonna need some rope and string. Oh, and grab a few more things and I think we're good to go. With my $1, the only thing that I could afford was some rope, which means that the rest of my build needs to be free. So I got an idea. Off to the woods. Woo! All right, check this out. So I'm Hoverboard Hunter and typically you know me because I'm always flying around. Today I'm gonna use this to build the best boat possible. Each one of these hoverboard arms cost at least $5,000. I spent the other $5,000 on this. Highly scientific, hydrodynamic boat. This is gonna be incredible and work amazing. All right guys, I have all my supplies and I'm ready to start building. Woohoo! I'm pretty sure I'm gonna win. I have such a big budget to work with. I basically spent most of it and I have a dollar to spare. Maybe I'll go to McDonald's and get a dollar ice cream cone. Woo! All right, let me show you guys my secret stash of sticks back here. Come on over. So I've been saving these logs for a while. I think this will make the perfect raft. I'm definitely gonna win this competition. I used to be a Boy Scout. I can build a raft out of this easily. Let's go. Are you building a raft? Well, I'm building a boat. A boat? Yeah. <laughs> well, once I build it, I'll show you, okay? Okay. 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 Well, once I build it, I'll show you, okay? Here I have all my supplies. We got a tarp, some rope, all my pink stuff, some buckets, an air mattress, a blower, and we have this thing, which is what is going to be powering my boat. And of course I have some Legos because we gotta make this thing look cool. Look at this. This is like the perfect log for my raft. Whoa. Oh, it's pretty big though, guys. I'm gonna have to cut this thing down. How are we gonna do that? All right, I think this is working. I mean, I'm cutting through it, but guys, we're limited on time. I don't know if I'll make it through with this. I think I need a bigger knife. I found a bigger knife, but it's not going much faster. Oh wait, there's a button. I've built a ton of things, and if I've learned anything, it's to keep it simple. That's why I got an inflatable raft for 20 bucks, and the rest of my hundred dollars on this sea scooter. Woo! So it turns out I'm missing a connector and I have to make one. So here's what I'm doing right now. And it's super tedious, but I have to solder these wires onto here. So that way they stick. This is gonna power the controls and keep my thing running. All right, look at this crazy design on this log. I just cut it open. It's like an alien design. Oh my gosh. This thing must be from outer space. So the foundation for my raft is done. Now I just need two cross pieces. Look at that stick right there, it's perfect. Okay guys, I have all of my supplies and I am gonna build my boat on this plank, which actually says Liz and Denise Sting. Your girl's loud, what the heck? I'm gonna write a little message on my board. I got the Sharpie, there we go. Okay, we'll just erase that off at some point. I'm gonna cover it up with some pink decor and start building out my boat. Guys, I am all done with my boat build. It is ready to float. And now it's just time to decorate. Woo! All right, guys. I think I tied the last knot. Look at this thing. Oh, my gosh. Perfect survival raft. I hope it holds up. We got to get this thing back to the pool for the float test. Oh, my gosh. It's so heavy. Oh, how am I going to get this back there? I need backup. Matt. Nah. You need help? Yeah. Go ahead and grab okay. that side. Oh, my gosh. Unfortunately, my raft is too heavy for even me and Matt to lift together, so I'm gonna need some special equipment. I'll be right back. I only have a few minutes left to finish this entire build, and I'm missing so many parts, so I gotta get going. This is gonna be tight. <laughs> Woo, 
All right, just like that, with my special toy, I was able to load it up. Let's go back to the pool. 10 seconds left to build. Let's get to Oh my gosh, I gotta hurry up. I'm almost done. Go, 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 go. Almost done, almost done. My build is done, I made it. The build is done, it's time to test our boats. And that's my secret weapon. This is my boat. We got Liz's giant air mattress looking boat right here. We got Hunter's silver boat. This thing looks scientific. And Andrew, wait, Andrew, where's your boat? I'm right here. Oh, it's so heavy. Matt, help me. Andrew, how is this a boat? This is literally like, it's made of a tree. Is that a fence? Oh, oh, that's all I can afford, Carter. This oh. is all I got. Oh, oh, oh it's so oh. heavy. <laughs> There's no way this is gonna float, Andrew. It's made of wood, Carter. Wood floats. This is like a wall from a log cabin or something. I think I pulled a muscle. All right, right here. Good. Look at how beautiful this thing is. It's amazing. <laughs> Challenge one is the float test. We're starting with Andrew and his one dollar boat. What do you even spend your dollar on? The rope, Carter. That's it. That's all I can afford. Okay, well, I don't know if this caveman boat is going to float, but let's put it in the water and see what happens. So not only does this have to float, but it also has to float with Andrew, and it's going under already. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's how it works. That's oh, it works. Wait, 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 it's not wait, gonna wait. float. It's not done yet. Here it comes. Oh my gosh. It's just getting ready. Oh my gosh. This oh, water is so goodness. cold. A boat's not a boat unless you can float on it. So you have to sit on this boat and it has to float you for you to pass the float test. Go for it, Andrew. Do I have to stay dry? Yeah, Andrew, it's a boat. Of course you have to stay dry. Before you go, <laughs> safety first. What? You think I need to wear this? Of course. It looks dope, anyways. Okay, all right. Comment down below if you think Andrew is going to float on his $1 boat. Oh, woo! Oh, he's going all the way. Uh, wait, uh, is he okay? Uh, there he is! Oh, it almost worked. And just like that, Andrew is eliminated. His boat did not pass the float test, and it literally sunk all the way to the bottom of the deep end. Oh, this boat! Oh, oh boy. Oh, no. We just oh, broke the pool. Oh, yeah. No, guys, this boat is now negative like $300 to fix the pool. Sorry. Clearly $1 was not enough to build a boat. That's why I'm up next with $100. I have an amazing boat and a secret weapon. Safety first. Here we go, guys. I think I'm gonna have no problems floating with my $100 boat, unless I'm too uh, chubby. Says one person's 120 pound max. It's all I could afford. I only had $100. Oh oh, I think I'm doing better than Andrew. All right, well, it's uh, not the most stable in the world, but so far, I think I passed the float test and I spent most of my money on this. Yeah. No way. Oh! 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 $100 boat! Up next, we have Liz. What was your budget again? $1,000. $1,000? This thing is yeah. massive. My mega yacht comes with a little cubby for Millie, a Lego hot tub, a chair for the captain, aka me, and my outboard motor. <laughs> this looks insane, and $1,000 is a lot of money, but does it float? Let's push it in the water and find out. Oh, wait, wait a second. You have a seat for Millie on this yeah, thing? Yeah, of course. She's my captain. Here we go, $1,000 float test as we're pushing it in. Watch the tile. I can't afford any more broken pool tiles. Here we go. Okay. Woo! Easy peasy, let me squeeze. It floats, but I have to hop on and stay dry for me to complete this challenge. Three, two, one. Jump on the Lizzie yacht. Wow. Okay, this starting to feel a little unfair. She did have $1,000, but that thing floats really well. Are you popping a soda right now? <laughs> I had so much money to spend that I actually bought a real gas-powered engine. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Last but not least, we got Hunter's ten thousand dollar boat. Let's yeah. see if it will float. Let's do it. Whoa. Whoa. This thing is crazy. This is custom made, Carter. This is like a legit boat. So on three. One, two, two. and then on three. Ready? Here we go. Three, go. Three. Whoa. Whoa. It floats. It floats, but get in there, Hunter. Whoa. Let's see if it actually works. All right, here we go. Oh, this is Whoa. really unstable. Oh, oh wait. Whoa. I gotta be so careful not to move. <laughs> oh, it looks so sick. Whoa. All I need is my propeller. So mine is hoverboard powered, so there's no way I can lose. Let's go! Woo! Let's move on with the next challenge, the race. This challenge is the race challenge. They have to race from one side of the pool to the other. Racers, start your engines! Woo! Loser in this race gets eliminated. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, three, two, one, go! I think Hunter got stuck. 
Oh my gosh, that was actually an insane race. All these boats took off really fast. Hunter was gonna beat me, but he still got stuck in a circle. Man, I spent $10,000, but that thing was just out of control. I need more practice with it first before I'm gonna win another one of those races. Hunter lost, so Liz and I are moving on to the next race. And we are out here in the lake because we have the fastest boat. So let's load it up. And I'm gonna recruit Andrew because his boat was so bad. I feel really bad for him, so. Woohoo, girls team, let's go. I'm on the girls team. All right, Andrew, push it in. Oh, boy. oh my gosh, uh, that mattress looks a little weak. We are off and floating. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, and three, two, one. I just got a call from Liz, and she says that we have a huge delivery. I know you guys are probably wondering if Liz and I are still broke up. Yes, we are. About a week since I've seen her last, things have been kind of very different, kind of talked and whatnot. You know, we're still trying to remain friends, even though we are still broken up. Anyways, just a little life update, a little personal stuff, but I'm just gonna try to keep my head up high, have some fun. Can't wait, because this thing that we have delivered is literally insane. I have a feeling we're gonna be going in the water. Beautiful day for the lake. Got some leaves in the water because it's like fall time, but Woo, here comes Andrew. Pulling up to the garage to see what is up. What did you get? Is that it? Oh, that's not it. It's over there. You got a truck? Oh, wait, what is that? What is that? <laughs> what even is this? Let's bring it in the garage and open it. That's probably good right there. Whatever's in this thing is so small and light. I'm literally moving it with like fingers. This is the jet boat that Liz surprised me with a couple years ago. Wow, oh my gosh. gosh. This jet boat is super small and it's only 12 feet long and it's crazy fast. <laughs> we took it to Unspeakable's house and we had a ton of fun with it. <laughs> Flash forward to today, now we have a super mini version of this coming in at the world's smallest gas powered jet boat. Oh my gosh, Liz, you actually fit. Oh my God, and there's two cup holders. Look at this, the detail. There's no way this tiny boat is gonna fit two people. Look how tiny this thing is. I'm not gonna fit in here. It's gonna fit three. No way. No way, Liz, this thing is so small. Okay, I'm climbing in. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't fit. It's okay, it's not really meant for people like you anyway, so. What? Why? That's mean. Because you're too big. I'm gonna have it too. Watch your knees. <laughs> There we go. Wow. Woo. The girls are in the boat. We are going to load her up. Here we go. Oh, wow. That's really it's <laughs> so light, even with two people in it. <laughs> you got this for me, right? No, he's literally just for me. I know, but when you give someone a gift, you write from Lizzie. If I were to give you a gift, it would say Carter. No, everybody knows that. Things are getting exciting because we're getting closer to going in the water. <laughs> of course you're wearing your white shoes to spill on every time. We are now all fueled up and we're going to the back side of the lake. We're the loading dog and Liz must be so excited. Yeah. Woo, we're about to back to the water. Trailer's touching water, Liz. Let's go. Real exciting. Oh my gosh, she flies. It's a oh. flying. Oh, I, like I don't know if we can put get you on board, Garth. Just be gentle. Like, oh. let me lean. Okay. 
Okay, we're both. Okay, good. get it started. Ready? Okay. I think you're good. We are actually going on the world's smallest boat. Liz, what the heck? It's a jet boat. We're getting the motor warmed up right now before we really get on it. Here we go, guys. You ready? Three, two, one, boom. Oh, what? Look how small it is. Hold on, I need to process this. Wait, is this the same size as my boat? No way, it's actually a mini jet boat. The same exact rails are on this. Bro, the same windshield. We got an engine in the back. <laughs> no way, dude, this thing is insane. And it rips. Wait, can we actually go in it now? Yeah. Wait, it's not just a prop. No, it's in real. It's got an engine in it. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh my god. We're gonna flip over, yo. Alright, you ready? I'm so scared right now. This is literally the world's smallest mini jet boat. Literally, my boots all the way up to my. I felt like I went to raging waters. <laughs> yeah, you were in the splash zone for sure. Why do you look so concerned, Andrew? What? This is a this is a scary moment for me. <laughs> oh my god! This thing is so small. You have to distribute weight, where it like feels like it's gonna flip. When Carter said uh, we were gonna go wakeboarding, I didn't realize that uh, I was gonna be driving him. I don't know how to drive a boat. That's right, guys. I got my wetsuit on because the water's a little bit cold today. And uh, Bailey's never driven it before, and he's gonna try to drive me on a wakeboard. He can't even do that. Oh my god, this might be an expensive mistake. We got the wakeboard, I got a wetsuit on, we got the tow rope strapped up. I don't know if it's gonna have enough power to do this. I don't know how to climb on. Wait, you're climbing up! Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh bad oh. idea! It's gonna sink! Oh, we're gonna sink! Get off! Actually going to go. Card, it's such a bad idea. Why are we doing this? The further I go back, the deeper the top of the boat. 
it's gonna put the engine bay underwater. Yeah, of course, I'm kidding! Carter! Oh, Carter, stop! Oh, Carter, I should just push you in! <laughs> oh. Alright, y'all, here's the moment of truth! Guys, I can't believe this tiny boat. It's literally barely bigger than the wakeboard. Like, actually, the length of my wakeboard. Look at that! It's literally the same size. Of the... Yeah. He's driving a boat, basically smaller than my tiny wakeboard. This wakeboard's small. It's like for Liz. All right, we're, we're gonna try this again. I'm gonna be holding the camera. That's how confident I am. I'm gonna try to keep it dry. Yeah. Yo. What in the Bailey pain? Literally in the last second, Bailey ran over the board, broke the camera mount, the camera fell, and luckily it floated so we have the footage for his vlog. <laughs> but this thing is crazy. Definitely, guys, don't tell Liz that we took her little jet boat out. Don't tell Liz that we almost broke it and crashed it. See you guys for the next vlog. Peace. Woo! Exploring this island looking for shipwrecks. But before we get started, I want to flash back to one day ago when we first got onto the island and we were driving by and we actually saw our first shipwreck on a beach right into town. Guys, check this out. So they're loading this truck up full of these pieces and over there was that shipwreck. I got a little glimpse of it earlier when we were out here and that's the rest of it. They just broke it up into these like panels. Like the whole boat just collapsed into that and it was sitting there shipwrecked right there. I figured it was there for a really long time and it was just gonna stay there so I wanted to go down there one day and explore it. Yeah, we should go down there and see what's left of that shipwreck. We would find like a hidden treasure in there. <laughs> so this is like literally the ultimate shipwreck guys as they just take the pieces out and load it into that truck. It's crazy. It was a big boat. So here's more pieces of the boat too. Look at that. This is nasty. This is literally used to be a ship. So it turns out we had some winds last night and the winds blew it into the coast and it just tore the boat up. That's so crazy. I'm like cleaning it up today. There's another piece of it right there floating. Oh man. There's pieces of it all over the beach. Oh man, this thing is completely wrecked. Whoa, look at that. That's like the engine of the boat over there. It's just sitting there. Oh my gosh, and this was like the big tower ripped off. I guess that was like the lifeboat or something. There's another big piece of the hull. This is wild. Wow, this gives you an idea of just the size of this thing. It is huge. Guys, this boat was like literally, it was like a ship. And it, it just shredded into pieces. I wonder if this thing will fire up. <laughs> Whoa, look, there's windows on that part. 
Oh my gosh, there's like a generator. That's the big engine right there. Oh my gosh. You see any hidden treasures, Liz? It doesn't look like there's much on this boat. Well, they cleaned up a lot. This is kind of crazy. Because I am determined to find treasure. Here's the filing cabinet that I had all the money. And it looks like it's completely rinsed out. Yeah, look closely. There's treasures. Found something. Look at that. It's a, a tile. I know, but it's a souvenir. Look, I found a phone charger. Nice. There's gonna be something of value in here. A shoe. There's a shoe. Do you think there's a man on the boat? Maybe he's still stuck. Maybe he's uh, in the water in Davy's locker. Davy Jones is locker. Look at this <laughs> door. What do you think was behind this door? I think there's something under there. Should we look? Is there something in here? Look how squishy it is. I've never what seen rock. That? Should we, I bet there's a... Probably the guy who's on the boat. Careful. He's buried under the rock. There's a trap door under here. I don't want to touch it. I don't know. Oh! Oh! See? It's squish. It's foam. Oh! I, I knew there was something under here. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross, Carter. Why is there foam under here? on the boat. So we really didn't get to explore that one too well because it was already completely destroyed by the heavy winds and they were already cleaning it up. So it was kind of like a post shipwreck exploration, but I have a feeling because of the storms, we might be able to find another. So we are kayaking around the island, looking at all of these different abandoned beaches. It's completely desolate. There, nobody lives out here. They're completely undeveloped and these beaches are just empty. And so the chances of us finding something, I think, I don't know. If we get lucky, we might be able to find something. We don't know. We're keeping our fingers crossed that we could find one more shipwreck at least. Lizzie, you ready to go find some shipwrecks? I'm ready. Let's go. Um, well, there's a ship. It's not wrecked. Oh, man, that's such a bummer. We just need to find a ship like that that actually is wrecked. That one isn't wrecked. It's just floating around. So we got to find someone whose luck wasn't as good and they actually crashed into the beach or the rock or the winds took it or something crazy happened. Maybe they found like an old pirate ship or something and try to find a shipwreck. <laughs> Guys, it's actually pretty crazy, but we are out here kayaking and we just came across shipwreck number two. Seriously, there is a boat over there that got wrecked onto the sand. Look at that, it's completely out of the water. It's like a sailboat. We gotta go explore it. This is actually crazy. I wanted to explore the other shipwreck, but it ended up like literally breaking in the wind or whatever. But then here's another one as we're out here in the ocean kayaking right now. We're gonna pull up to it and go check it out. Be careful, Liz. Oh my gosh. Guys, look, there it is. That is the boat we are going to explore. It is an absolute shipwreck. It's called the Phantom Sea. And it's like a sailboat. It kind of looks haunted or something. All right, Liz, go full speed. Full speed, Liz, here we go. Uh-oh, we're gonna hit the only rock. Oh, Liz, we hit the only rock. Oh, there's a cave. Liz, look, there's a cave. Uh-oh, Liz. Whoa! All right, go, 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 don't hit the rock this time. Don't be sideways or we're gonna shipwreck. All right. Guys, look, there's literally a cave right here, too. I guess it's not that big of a cave, but it's still a cave. All right, so this is our first stop, and I'm already noticing uh, some things all over this beach. Maybe it's from the shipwreck. But there is, like, some clothes, some rope, and then a, a radio. Little walkie-talkie. Liz, I think it's possible whoever was on that boat when it shipwrecked, they got stranded here and they had to like call an emergency team that rescued them. That's, so cool. That's what it might have been happening with that radio over there. I don't know. It's hard to say. I don't know how long this thing has been here, but it is for sure an absolute shipwreck. Look at that. There's like, I think they were totally stranded. Look. Whoa. They were probably having to survive on this island for like at least a night, if not maybe like a day. You think people are in there? There's like life jackets and stuff. There's a lighter and some scissors. Liz, I don't know if anyone would be in there. It looks like it's kind of messed up. Be careful. Completely wrecked. What? Oh my gosh, this is wild, Liz. Look at the hole. Whoa. 
I don't think anyone's in here. Oh boy, maybe. But yeah, you can see. Look, the captain of the ship. Wow. Wow. Guys, check out the bottom side of this boat. To give you an idea of what the bottom of a sailboat looks like, it's crazy. It has this massive fin that goes down the center. And a little tiny prop, I guess, is all it really has. I guess they don't really use props. They, you know, that's just for kind of in and out of the harbor or something like that. But, wow, this thing is like kind of huge. It's called the Phantom Sea. It looks like an old boat. So it's not like it's a brand new yacht or anything like that that crashed. But whoa, I just found something cool. Look at this. This is like, oh man, it's stuck in there. Whoa, it really got wedged in there. There it is, got it. It's like a little teapot. Maybe there's a genie in there. I don't know, it's kinda cool. Hey, get out of here, what you doing? Oh my God, you scared me. Hey Liz. There's literally a shoe in the closet. There's a shoe right here too. All right guys, I'm on the shipwreck right now this is crazy look at this lever i don't even know what that does and then there's a cavity under here you guys see anything interesting you guys need to comment down below if you guys see anything i'm not gonna take anything because it's not my boat but i'm just kind of exploring the wreckage wow all right liz I think it's time for us to leave. We kind of explored it. There's really not a whole lot to see. I didn't dig through the hidden treasures because this is someone's boat. It's not like it's an ancient shipwreck where it's all like up for grabs or whatever. So I don't really want to, you know, steal anything. Uh, guys, check it out. This boat behind me is absolutely massive. We're going to go up to the very top and do a yacht tour at night and check out what this thing is all about. Before we go up, just take a look at the enormous size of this thing. It's huge, it's unbelievable, and believe it or not, this is actually uh, a fan of Team RAR's dad's boat, which is absolutely amazing. It's 300 feet, actually over 300 feet. I'm like four stories up. The tip of it's all the way up there. It's got jet skis, boats, dinghies, everything. I'm on the top, top and it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna take you on like a little sneak peek and just give, an, give you guys an idea. And here is the backside, down this staircase, down two more staircases to get to this deck, all the way on the back where there is a DJ party bar, there's a hot tub, there's jet skis down there, and there's even a boat garage where the sides of the boat actually lift open so you can drive a boat inside this boat, inside this yacht. Here is that on the side. So you can see this hinge is open and this boat, which is probably worth over $100,000, can drive inside a garage, inside a yacht. I mean, look at the tower of all of these instruments up there. It's absolutely insane. And this boat is driven from Qatar to the Bahamas and back, which is insane. I haven't even been that much inside this thing because it is just massive, even just on the decks. It's just hard to capture the magnitude and size and scale of this thing, but it's enormous. I don't know what it costs. I want you guys to comment down below, but my bet is that it probably is in the price range of a half a billion dollars. I want to say 500 million is up the range. That could be way off. That's my educated guess on what this thing costs, and it is pristine, perfect condition. It's amazing, the quality. And when you get on, you actually have to wear these slippers. They, uh, you take off your shoes. Um, so I guess it keeps it clean. From the outside, the boat kind of looks like this ship here where you can see it is just massive. That's essentially what this boat looks like that we're standing on. Similar in scale, but actually bigger than this one, significantly bigger. And that one right there is huge. I mean, look at the stories. It's like one, two, three, four, five, maybe six stories. The beautiful city right there, that's actually Doha. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, now we're down onto whatever floor I'm on now, which is not the top. And there is a dinghy with a crane system that will lower it. And we are still pretty high above the water. To get an idea, we are still way up here. Okay, yacht tour continues. Let me show you how you drive this thing. This in here is the captain's. They've got a little coffee machine right there. 
and check this out. That is the control panel. They got couches, they got TVs and monitors. I'm not even sure exactly where the steering wheel is. It's probably like a joystick or something. But this is insane. It literally reminds me of the movie The Titanic, the bell. And another view at the front. Going around this side now. And on the other side, there is a, another dinghy. And these things are big. These are not small dinghies. They're probably like 20 plus feet, again, with its own crane system to lower it down into the water in case of emergency. So we gotta go find the other staircase to keep going down. I think there's two more flights of stairs down, which is crazy. This part of this is crazy. And other places to lounge and to sit. And I'm not even sure what's in there because it's kind of dark. I haven't done the full inside tour. We're kind of just going on the outside first. But we're gonna be going down to this floor. It's really noisy with music. So enjoy the tour down here. I don't even know if we're supposed to be back here. Is the party, are we supposed to be here, guys? I'm kind of going out of my limb, going out in a limb here just to kind of vlog around because it's so amazing. Here's another, there's another elevator. That's the second elevator on this one hallway. I don't, I can't believe it. I think it's so fancy. Yeah, guys, this is like, I mean, talk about like, hide and seek on this one. Wait, that's a third elevator. No. Okay, well this is definitely an elevator. That is just, okay, I didn't know that this makes any sense. And this, oh, there's another boat right there. So guys, there is a jet ski here, jet ski there. It's a huge boat. It's another jet ski, a third jet ski. And it looks like we're on the ground, but guys, this is like a huge deck. It's insane. That is the boat we saw from the top, guys. There's even like a deck down there. It must have a crane system that pulls it up and puts it right here. Wow. There's another staircase that goes down that way, but we're gonna go across the sky bridge. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this yacht is absolutely insane. Wow, that looks crazy. You got it? Okay. Oh my gosh, guys, there's even a floor down below that we did not even explore. So needless to say, guys, uh, we explored like a small percentage of this entire yacht. If you guys want to see more of that, definitely comment down below and we'll look at more yacht tours. Look at the size of this thing from the outside. What the heck? Even just the back portion is enormously large. I mean, this is like a 30 foot boat right up inside there. That is just crazy big. This yacht, guys, has a submarine and a massive, huge submarine. What the heck? That thing is so big. And that one is even bigger. And we're gonna leave off on the little fishies in the water. You're looking good. This is an absolute rig, guys. Look at this thing. What? Oh, we might even scrape a little bit. Oh, keep going. Uh, Definitely a bit of a scrape there. Not the end of the world. That's a truck on a truck on a truck on a truck. We broke the new record. So out here in Texas, they love their trucks on a truck on a truck on a truck. That one is literally three trucks on one truck. That is crazy. Just look at that thing. That is just wild. So Unspeakable is definitely not here, so I took a shower, but I think I hear him. I think he might have just got in. Yo, is Unspeakable here? Unspeakable, oh wait. That's not like stove. What the heck are you guys doing here? You arrived. Matt, what the heck? We have arrived. I'm so confused. So we came here and Nathan's not even here. Nathan's the not here. The house was completely empty. What is that? that is <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, Nathan's here! Hey, Nathan, what's up, dude? Wow, look at that. Wild Nathan taking a thumbnail. Yes. Oh, it's Instagram. Buddy. Oh, Instagram. Instagram! <laughs> well, we're gonna go put the boat in the water. And uh, this is what we came here for. I'm super excited. 
This house, if I haven't already said it like a million times, is absolutely amazing. I am so in love with this property and I don't even need to explain why. It's, this is the driveway. He has a bridge. I just, uh, it's amazing. It's truly spectacular. I am so in love with this place. It's, it's crazy. Imagine if this was like, could you build this like in my parents' neighborhood like growing up? Like if you had the land for it, this is like just so cool. Dig a moat around your parents' house. It's so, <laughs> there's like an alligator over there. Do you see that? Could be a turtle. I don't know. There probably is a pond monster in there. We'll probably discover that. They told me they put sharks in there. They put sharks in here? So apparently there could be some freshwater sharks. Assuming this is freshwater. I haven't been in the water yet, but I imagine it's probably freshwater. I think there is such thing as a freshwater shark. I have heard of that. And here is the boat, guys. This is what I'm really excited about. This thing is going to be an absolute monster inside the water. We're being stalked by Nathan. <laughs> what are you doing at my house? What do you mean? I wish this was my house. This thing's sick. Yeah, I'm super excited to, to test this thing out. It's got like a little... Have you done like water sports on it yet mm -hmm. like the tubing. tower yeah we did wakeboarding oh you can drop it in right here think so? Just yeah it i've done it right here <clears throat> yeah you'll be good just um hopefully that plate won't like i know that's what i sketched out it's about. so it low well, well if it sinks we got the scuba diver yeah so this thing is like 300 horsepower turbocharged it's pretty crazy well here goes nothing guys dropping the boat in it's gonna be sweet it should work. But yeah, we can literally jump over. It's just like a Fortnite boat. It drives on land and water. I've never tried it, but it does. That's good. So we actually haven't tried driving this boat without the tower. So it shouldn't drive any different, but it looks different. It looks a lot smaller without the tower. I think you need a boat like this. Because we got the, it's like that swamp monster. Oh, I should have put Crocs on. I'm wearing my Yeezys. Yeah. A little bit of a disaster, but so far so good. Take two. Slow and steady. All right, we should be good this time. Let's see, this is the trailer coming out. Trailer is out just fine. And I think we're ready to start. Yeah, okay. Blower's off. We're going for the start. There we go. Well, there's there's Matt. He is so jealous. Look at him, the smile on his face. Here, you try to film. We're gonna try to you know take a lap or two here. This is gonna be so fun. We're going pretty fast. I'm not even rubbing it. Just idling. <laughs> Leaving the tiny island. We did a little bit of a quick video. Oh, you're going. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like okay. Spinning our wheels. <laughs> Matt, I think we're too heavy. I think I am. Pretty heavy. Wait, why are we not moving? I think we're just like spinning our wheels. There we go. And we're gonna start off slower. This thing is really inefficient. We were doing a burnout. Yeah, we did a burnout <laughs> with the paddle boat. Right. Woo! Back here. What do you mean? <laughs> There's the water. Literally right there. Like if I lean back, we're going under. I think Matt, it would ruin Matt's day if he got wet today. He got a little piece of chocolate on his shirt and he was upset. Let's just leave it at that. Really inefficient. I'm burning over here. We're going slower when we go fast, when we pedal faster. Oh, you know what? The inefficiency, we need to lean forward. Paddle wheels are super dependent on the height of the water. If you go too high or too low, the inefficiency gets crushed. I almost made it. That was crazy. I thought I was going to hit the tree. 
Dude. That was awesome. Holy moly. I mean, Look at how close you were. Well, that worked extremely well. It was absolutely hilarious. So we're gonna go push it back in and try it again. I gotta go a little bit faster. I don't think he's gonna go fast enough. <laughs> You're so close. We're about to make history here on the third attempt here at Unspeakable's house. Smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We're going all the way across the island. Oh. Oh, you made it. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. You did bump. Everyone, were you guys running out of the way and stuff? Yes, look at Matt's video. Literally. You almost hit us. I don't even know what happened. What? Oh, I was going right you go for right you guys. For them. And look, they run at the last <laughs> second. Oh my god. Like, oh no, the tree. The tree. <laughs> the tree. What about your tree? What about us? All I'm seeing is tree. <laughs> at one, because I was thinking I'm going to hit this way. Here. Luckily, it kept turning wait, enough. Wait, wait. Look at these replays. <laughs> <laughs> tree! Wait, tree! Tree! Almost kill everybody. Yeah, he is. Wait, why did we run that oh way? Oh my god. So we, we're trying to figure out exactly what happened on that run. So I hit perfectly, and you can see they line up perfectly. But then as you start to get to here, the path starts to veer off towards the right, and then it bends, and it has such a huge curvature to it. And I think the reason is, is because the boat, when I hit the sand, it was leaning because I came in, turned at an angle or something. And when you're turned, just like sledding as you lean, it allows you to turn in that direction. But I would say that this was a successful run because I am touching water on the other side. I can't quite drive away. I got to push it about a foot more into the water, but I don't think I want to try it again because this is crazy. Well, I'm finally here at the new house. You guys haven't seen this for quite some time. It's a beautiful day out here. Matt just got a brand new Super Duty F-250 Platinum. Check this out, ready? With the sidestep. Guys, it feels good to be vlogging for Carter's life here at the new T-Bar house. We still need to pick a name for it. So my kind of my placeholder right now is Rar Ranch, but I feel like that's not really quite fitting because it's not really like Texan and like ranchy. It's more like resort. So would Rar Resort be a better name? I don't know, you guys are really creative guys. Comment down below right now. What would be a sick name for the new Team Rar house? It's not really a house. I mean, come on. There's a private lake. We're going jet ski. We haven't driven it for some time, and we're going to be putting it in the lake, guys. I've been dreaming about this moment for so, so, so long. So anyways, yeah, not really a house. So we got to call it something else, and I just don't know what that is yet. Also, we're driving to the garages because I ran it this morning. Uh, it takes about a good old, you know, 12 to 15 minutes to walk there. So we're gonna drive. All right guys, we made it to the garage. We are now pulling in with the Super Duty. Oh my gosh, let's see. Boom, we got the boat and that's it guys. That little tiny jet ski. The jet boat's going in the water too. We're gonna do that later. I'm just so excited to get that stand up because it's hot. So guys, just pulling into this monster of a garage. We don't have any of the lights turned on right now. It's, oh, you are gonna do the lights, all right. You gotta jog, yeah, you should take a mini bike out there. It's like the final mile. All right, here we go, guys. Let there be lights, yes! The jet boat, we don't get to use it that much because, well, there's no lake in the backyard at the, uh, the last team our house, but we do here. So this is gonna be literally a daily driver, and uh, so will this beautiful 1992. This thing's older than me. It's pretty crazy. This thing was this thing was born in '92. It's literally so old, but it looks so sick. Yeah, here's here's the toolbox, still in its own box, and we have some tools on top. Oh yeah, uh, yeah it's right. we got. <laughs> Yo, where are the tools? Oh, they're sitting on the toolbox, inside its box. I love it. So we basically don't have a lot of stuff here. It's basically just empty. We're not really moved in, although we are here now. Um, so we kind of just have temporary stuff. This is a brand new tool set. For, you know, first time cracking it open. Look how fresh that is, that's beautiful. We got a power washer, shop back, a little Zamboni. I mean, like we're starting to get stuff. So this thing has been sitting in the driveway as you guys probably have seen in the vlogs a while. So it's not even running right now, but I don't think it will be hard to get it running. So it doesn't start. So we're gonna put some starter fluid in here. It's pretty typical for an engine like this, especially if it's been sitting, choke on. Oh, I didn't even have the key. That's why I wasn't firing. It's so <laughs> you 
It was the key this whole time. I'm so dumb. I was out here before <laughs> vlogging this morning trying to crank this thing and I wasn't turning over. I was like, oh boy, we're gonna need to like, no, it starts right up. I just, I forgot that key. Everything has a key. The key goes right in there. We have like industrial fans. Oh, so I turned it on and that fan shot the belt off. Really? When I turned it on, I just like, the belt goes flying. I'm like, Did you oh, put it back on or no? No, because I need a tall ladder. I can't reach so it. that motor just... And the motor's just spinning. I turned it off. I just need a ladder so I can go put it back on. Yeah, guys, that's like 20 feet in the air. It's like four... <laughs> if we're going to measure that in trampolines, that's probably like four to five trampolines in height. So we could probably put a five stack in here. All right, well, we're good. This thing's going to run. We got to load her up. We got to get, get ripping on her. We're backing the truck up. We're, we don't have the the trailer hitch for this thing. But luckily it's so small, it weighs like, I don't know, 200 pounds or less, so we can just pick it up. We're gonna throw it in the back of the truck, drop the truck to the lake, pick it up out of the truck, dump it in the lake. I'm gonna jump in and uh, hopefully she fires up and she rips. I love this thing, guys. This is the first jet ski that I've ever bought. And I actually got it to drive in the pool at the old Team Rar House, like the first Team Rar House. Put the brakes, put the brakes. <laughs> We got it loaded up. Now it's time for us to be cruising. Slow and steady, baby. We got a we got a baby on board. Dun, da, da, dun, da, da. I'm going jet skiing. But this, guys, woo, my pride and joy. I mean, it could be upside down. You wouldn't even know which way is up with that lake like that. But I got it on camera. No. Yeah, can you drop me up too? It's, up, it's kind of hard to see the scale out here, but this place is big. And so you kind of need to drive places, otherwise you're going to put miles. Yeah, the house is like, Whoa, I can barely even see yeah, it. Yeah, the, the house is way over there. I can barely even see it. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're not kidding, hold on. Oh, it's rough. You've got to learn his limits. Yeah, all right, Andrew's already in. So, you got your Crocs on, right? Do you want to go, you, if you hold the front of the ski and you go about that deep, yeah. maybe a little bit more than we can... I'll swim out to it. Is it not gonna suck in dirt right now? I'm gonna go out further before I start it. Is this gonna work? Oh yeah. Yeah, this place is built for this thing. <laughs> Professional uh, stand-up skier right here, actually. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh man, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is inaugural right here. This is so cool. One of the funnest things about the Team Our House is that we can jet ski right here in the backyard, guys. And right out the gate, we got three jet skis in the water. The two blue ones are crazy fast. They are turbocharged and they go 60 miles an hour. But I gotta say, my favorite is the little stand-up. And this is the stand-up that we used to drive in the pool at the old Team Our House and even the first Team Our House. And now I finally can drive it at the new Team Rar House and I can really get on the gas and open it up wide and drive it how it's intended to be driven. All right, so Andrew's going for the stand-up, guys. <laughs> I've never done it before. It's my first time. <laughs> first time on a good old 92 stand-up. Yeah. All right, so Andrew's oh, going for it, guys. How are you doing it? He's up on his knees. That's a great first start. It's a whole lot harder when you stand up. He's looking good. That guy from Spongebob. David Hasselhoff? Yeah. <laughs> he's David Hasselhoff out here. Yes, Andrew, yes! Oh, he's up! He's up! He's gonna fall. Watch out when he falls. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, oh he's actually God. really up. Oh, yep. <laughs> he fell. Oh. It's gonna hit the duck! <laughs> it's sketchy. Like, when you go to fall, it's like, what do you do? Yeah. It's hard to know how to, like, turn. Yeah. I'm starting to learn it, though. I'm getting pretty good at it. So the, the stand-up is kind of like riding a dirt bike or something on water, but you have to like lean and turn to turn, just like a dirt bike, but they're disconnected. So you have to lean independently of how much you turn, and you gotta figure out how to connect the two. It's kind of crazy. There goes Andrew actually standing up, guys. That's sick, yes. Andrew's actually doing really well, guys. Sending it on the stand-up. But that's what exactly what happens. I think you're gonna be too big, but I thought Andrew wasn't gonna be good. You're gonna have to, you gotta try. I want a super jet. Oh, well, please. No, you haven't even touched that thing yet. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. an absolute two stroke monster. I'll give her a, I'll give her a shot. I mean, yeah, at least, I mean, trust me, you're gonna be ripping on that. I don't have a swimsuit on, I have a belt on and everything. Hold it run, that'd be alright. We got, I mean, we're, this is the jet ski vlog, it's inaugural. Alright. 
All right, guys, I literally had to talk Matt and do it, but he's gonna do it. I bet he's gonna do well, too. I think he's gonna be ripping on this thing. Gonna get it. Yeah! Guys, that's awesome. So Andrew's actually really getting the hang of it. I had a lot harder time learning uh, than Andrew is even right now, honestly. I think the flat water definitely helps because I'm ripping on here today. I haven't driven this thing for like a year. And Andrew's really kind of getting the, get into some stuff. He just had a save right there, that's huge. Riding a little high, a little steep. But hey, if you're on your feet, you're on your feet. Yes! Wipe out! There goes Bailey, like an absolute jet engine blowing by. Yeah, dude, you're like a supersonic jet coming through. You gotta be going 60 plus. Over 60. Look who we got here. What is the meaning of this? What is that? I just caught a fish, I just let it go. Really? We got your Fisher glasses on everything. So Matt's gonna try. Yes! Yo, Andrew's actually doing really well. Yeah, he is. I'm, I'm impressed. So I think you're gonna be fine. I don't think so, but... Here comes Matt. You're missing out on the jet ski party. Got Matt got lost. He went in that way. <laughs> Yo, we gotta get you on the, uh, the blue jet ski. Yeah. Yeah, it's so that fast. One? The fast one, yeah. So fast. This stand-up is like a little dirt bike. It's challenging, but it's so fun. Oh, there's a whole hawk of them up there. A flock of them. There's a flock of these things. Yo, Andrew's got it! But yeah, once it's smooth, you can... Oh, yeah, that was a power turn. Nice! See the stance? I recommend that stance. Oh my god, Liz almost. All right, gentle, gentle until you get out. She's a monster. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be a disaster out there. Let's all remind everyone, guys, that Liz, when we went to the sand dunes, was the only one who rolled the ATV while Soap was I in there. I'm not going out on the stand-up with her on the... On the I don't want to ride on that. She's going to be a monster out there. She's tearing it up. With the, with the Those are the green shorts of terror. Oh, my gosh. She's going to get herself in trouble. I can guarantee you that. Uh-oh, guys, she broke it. Is that a warning light? Oh, okay, that's the best. I put five gallons in it like a couple days ago. Well, clearly, you've been riding it since before oh, we got I here. It. I rode it once. <laughs> what? One bar. One bar, quick, we need gas. Matt had to go to the garage with the gator, grab a gas tank, drive all the way back out. Look how far it is. Look how far away he is, guys. He's a little speck. He's like the size of my fingernail. And uh, now we're gonna come back, bring it down the dock, fill it up and then we'll get five more gallons in these things. But this thing goes so fast, people rip on it so hard, it's crazy. Also, Liz, did you notice this? Look, there's little white caps that like live over there. They just keep rolling. Look at that. And they just keep going. There's something about the geography of like underneath the lake that when you have these wakes, they just like keep, like I've noticed that, even the little ski makes white caps. Here we go, we got the man of the hour. All right, well, we just fueled it up for you. You're ready to go. Matt, have you ridden a jet ski before? like four years ago. So, okay, so Matt's basically really has never even ridden one. He's gonna have the pleasure of doing it here on this glass water. Yeah, this is a great place to ride a jet ski. It's literally like a jet ski training ground getting yeah, the water so literally. flat. Like, yeah. this thing is so hard to ride, but I was on rockier water, and Andrew got the hang of it within like 30 seconds. If I could learn out of here, I would have had a way easier time learning. So uh, it's literally jet ski. Jet ski training ground. No, you're gonna hop right on. So there's a blind spot on the lake, which is going through the channel. If you're the only one, it's fine, but otherwise, when you commit to going through the channel, you just wanna make sure you can see. Mm -hmm. So you wanna take the turn before lining up. Like if you're going this way to that side, if you go really wide, so you can look down the channel to make sure no one's coming. There's no brake, Matt, so let go of the gas. Well, there kind of is a brake. Yeah, no. Not a high speed brake. Yeah, not a high speed brake. Yeah, no, there's no brake. No, it's Never. the right thing. Oh, this? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Put that on your wrist, too. The red thing so on your left off, wrist. So if you fall off, it shuts off. Yep. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, there he goes. He's pushing the dog. All right, guys. Matt is out and running. All right, guys, there goes Matt. He's looking good. So far, so good. Woo-hoo! All right, guys. So Matt's doing well. This thing is easy to drive, but like I said, driving anything can go really wrong really fast if you're not being smart or careful. Oh. Oh. What is he doing out there, guys? We are really stepping things up here, guys. You guys can't tell, we are still at the new team, our house. And 
we have the boat. Eight months ago, Lizzie surprised me with my dream boat. We've done some crazy things with this boat, including sticking it on the back of the limo and driving it all the way to Unspeakable's Island House. There, we finally were able to use it and drive it around the water and even across the sand. But since then, it's just been sitting in the driveway. And now today, I finally get to live my dream with my dream boat where I can load it into the water here in my own private lake. So we're loading it up on the truck. We're gonna put gas in there and we are going to be uh, getting this in the lake for the very first time ever. And we're gonna see how it does. I'm a little bit worried. It's a little bit bigger than a jet ski. It's a lot more powerful. 300 horsepower turbo charge is crazy. I'm a little nervous about putting this in the water and seeing what it does. It's also really fast and I'm a little bit worried about other people driving it too. So we'll see if we get that far. Everyone's gonna wanna drive it because it's so fun. But it's literally the same amount of driving experience as a Ferrari. Like, it's just not a boat, it's not a jet ski. It's basically a water Ferrari. Here we go, guys. Got the big rig pulling the little boat. And uh, Matt says the boat actually hits this light. Oh, wait, we're good. Inches, guys. Only that little white nub would hit. But we are good. <sighs> All righty. So we're going to go fill this up with gas and then drop it into the lake. Okay, well that was, didn't go as far as I thought on that. So beautiful day, partly cloudy skies, nice and warm. It's still full blown summer down here. I know a lot of you guys are probably back to school already, but out here at the new Team Raw house, guys, summer, it's honestly just getting started. Well, okay, fine, that's not true. But I feel like it's gonna be warm summer weather here for, I think till at least late October, if not even some early days in November. We'll see, it's a new house, it's a new place. We'll see how it goes. But right now the weather is literally perfect. We are at the gas station. We gotta fill the boat up. All right, three, two, one. Whoa! Oh, a double! Woo! Yeah, I didn't know you were gonna do a double. Bailey broke the dock. No, it's already rotting. No, it's not. You pulled it off. Oh, you broke two of them. No, I didn't even pull that one. Oh, yo, this whole thing just got busted up. All right, well, we know which one we're gonna just take out for the jet ski dock then. So you wanna pull the other one so we can climb out? No. Okay. <laughs> this one got pulled too. I mean, it needs work, but you know, I don't need to break it off. He's doing half the work for you. He's doing the uh, demo. The demo, yeah. <laughs> and then he's got to get the reservation done. What was that? Yeah, no, that is an alien. Guys, what is that thing? Bro, I kind of want to pick it up, but... It could be poisonous. I've never seen it. I have an app. No, you don't. Yeah. Shut up. We're gonna. Matt does not have an app. So we're gonna scan this caterpillar. It's gonna say it's from a different planet. It's from like Mercury or Venus. Dude, that thing is for sure from Venus. It's a white, white mark tussock moth. Oh, it's a moth. Well, well it could gonna turn have... into a moth. So it's not poisonous. I mean, I, we don't know that yet. Dude, why would it look like that? I think they might have discovered a new species. So can I pick it up? All right, guys, we're dropping it in. Well, them tires are gonna sink or no? That's good. That's good. Now, the thing is, will Carter be able to successfully get this boat off this, whatever you call it, trailer? Oh, yo, horse flies are already out trying to get me, y'all. I'm gonna have to run in a bit. Oh, he's out. And we're in. We're in. We're in. Let's see if she'll start. Sheesh. All right, wait, let's pull out, Matt. Oh. Trailer's out. Boat is in. Wait, Carter, I got an idea. Yo, this thing is so sick. You guys should come to the dock and hop on. All right. <laughs> Looks like we gotta get on the boat, guys. Why not? Oh my gosh, guys, he's already going he's already so fast, fast, maxing out. Yep, there he goes. Yes, Matt. Oh, boy. Literally sounds like the Lambo is riding across the lake or something. Millie! Is that a pond monster? So far, so good, guys. No sign of any, like, pond monster. I mean, there's fish and frogs and all kinds of stuff. I think some turtles, too. But nothing uh, monstrous. Oh, my. Woo! Millie wants to go jet skiing. Come here, Millie. Ready? I right, put her in. Good girl, baby. <laughs> oh, because she's like a little, she's like an alligator with her head sticking up. She did it. Nice and warm. She's like, that wasn't bad at all. She was a little worried about it. But she's like, hey, the water's so warm and so nice. I like it. You happy, Millie? She's got it. Really? That's a lot of pine needles over the years. Definitely is a bit of a cleanup out here, but you know, nothing we can't handle. We love a project. Millie, there she goes. 
Woohoo! Millie girl! There she goes. Zoop, shoop, 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 shoop. She loves to run. She's going down the dock now. It's important to teach Millie how to swim, especially where to go, because she, if she were to fall in, she needs to know to go to the shore. Sometimes it's not always obvious when she's panicking out there. So we want to get her nice and comfortable. Millie, come here. All right, guys, she's doing it. Guys, she looks like a little alligator. Wait, Andrew, just let her go. Oh, she got it. <gasps> come here, Millie, you doing it. Good girl, baby. Good girl. Yes. You did it! All right, guys, she did it. Swim, swim lesson number one is a success. She's got to swim to the shore. <gasps> Good girl, baby. How was that? She wants to do it again. She wants to go again. She's so excited. So Panos and I are about to hop on this boat. This is my first time ever on this boat. I'm ready. I've never been on this thing. I've edited plenty of videos with the boat. Oh, it's coming in hot. Panos, you first. Oh, is that a boat? People, but let's rock it. Let's run it. Right. Matt's gonna be around here any second. This is your first time on here, right? Me too. So Me too. My first time. This is so sick, bro. I love these seats. Oh you guys ready for a ride? I don't even know. What I've only seen this on a trailer. <laughs> Guys, I'm having so much fun that I'm actually going to do a challenge. I'm gonna be seeing if I can stay on the water, jet skiing or on the boat for 24 hours straight. Wish me luck. so much fun but guys jet skiing is exhausting and i'm starting to get really tired and i accidentally fell off in the absolute worst spot in the entire lake yeah i think you're gonna have to just push your way out of there buddy <laughs> It's like riding a, a bicycle with one arm over like a mountain bike trail. So I kind of need both arms, so it's hard to vlog, but I'm gonna try something with Matt if he, uh, if we can pull this off. It's gonna be high skill level. All right, so it's really hard to vlog, Yeah. but I think we can get a really sick shot if we kind of cruise and you're riding right next to me. Okay. So I can selfie this way and you're on my right side. Okay. And then we just kind of go, we do like a big old lap around this part. hours was way longer than I thought it was going to be but I did make it about four to five hours which isn't bad but now we need to dry off because today is also Matt's birthday today is Matt's birthday and his birthday wish was to drive the jet boat in this lake and that's what he's doing guys look at this he is out there in the team Rar jet boat look at it it's like a monster it's literally 300 horsepower oh my gosh that's a mean grin on the front of that boat guys this thing is scary if you guys are wondering what the driving experience is on that, I would compare it to the Aventador. It's like crazy. It's not even like a car. It feels like you're driving like a fighter jet. It doesn't feel like a boat. It doesn't feel like a jet ski. It feels like a fighter plane on the water. And it's so, it's honestly terrifying. And I have crashed it into a bridge pretty bad. I got really lucky that the boat didn't get damaged and nobody got hurt, but it could have gone really bad. So I've been trying to coach Matt on how to drive it based on everything that I've learned driving it in the past and so far he's doing really good. This is a huge lake. It's like 10 acres so there's a lot more room here than other places that we've driven it. So it's kind of the perfect grounds to kind of cruise around. I think he's coming through the channel right now. Let's see. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
He held that one, yeah. He is just having the time of his life out there. He's been dreaming of this ski for a long time, guys. Dude, that thing is just scary. I don't even know what to say. That boat scares me so much. It's so unsustainably fast. I mean, it's just a rocket ship. Carter, get in. Dior is getting on the boat. Get on. I don't need to get on that. You're gonna feel the weight now that you have three. The turns are heavier. So just be prepared for understeering. That's it, go, go, go. I'm out here on Dana Point. I've never been here before. I'm on the beach. I'm here to find something absolutely incredible. I never even knew these things existed like a week ago. And then last night I saw one for sale. So I messaged the guy at 3 a.m. last night, drove up here the next day, and he's out on the water with it right now. They're absolutely incredible. You can kind of see him out there, just driving around. There's two of them right there. It's a jet powered surfboard. It's literally the craziest thing. And I honestly, like literally never even knew those things were like a real thing before. These things are seriously so cool. I can't wait to see one up close and see what's like inside it, see how it works and uh, maybe go for a test drive. After about an hour of talking with these guys and trying to figure things out, I got it. It's on my back right now, guys. I don't know if you see how big it is. It's huge. It goes like down to my feet or like my knees and above my head. I got my regular backpack on the front. And uh, I'm just walking down the beach to where I parked. Forgot like 300 yards. It's not really that heavy, but it's definitely, you know, it's definitely heavy. I don't want to lot walk like this too much further, but I'm super excited to get this thing home. Absolutely just trusting these guys. Just kind of went for it, took a risk, but I got it. You see, like, really nice guys. I think it's a very well taken care of. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. I'm honestly shook. I saw it last night. Woke up to 7 million subscribers, pulled the trigger on this, heading back home, and I uh, might hit Malibu tomorrow. And uh, might try to take this thing out. Maybe I'll try it in the pool tonight. We'll see. I made it back to the car, but I'm starting to think, will this thing fit? I folded the seats down, and I'm going to try pushing it in, but if it doesn't fit, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm like an hour away from home, so wish me luck. Here we go. I think it should fit, but... I'm not sure. Wow, I gotta say. I mean, this thing's small, but it does take up quite a bit of space. And I probably could get two in here, and if I stacked them, I might even be able to get four of them in here. But we're good to go, guys. I can't believe it. What an adventure. And I don't normally solo these things. I'd always go with like Liz or Bailey or Hunter or someone. Phil, I always take a friend. But uh, this one, I had to go solo. Everyone was busy. But I couldn't pass up this opportunity. I almost didn't even get it. He was trying to sell it to a guy that was going to give him like a brick of gold. And they were very interested in the gold. Whew. But we got it though. We made it back home. One piece. The sun's actually setting, but I'm going to put it in the pool. Because I got to try it out. I'm not going to be able to go to sleep tonight not testing this bad boy out. This thing is so cool. It's time to test it out. I'm super excited. I'm gonna put the cap on and throw it in the pool. Wow, it's really not very heavy. tried standing up on it yet and I'm splashing all the water out of the pool. It's literally I got mini jet ski up. I don't even know what to say. This thing is actually incredible. I'm gonna see if I can somehow just like get it started. 
and then maybe uh, stand up on it right away. It's going to be hard to stand up, I think. carry it and then uh you're on your way so it's late november and we're trying to take the jet skis out that was andrew's idea but then andrew put the wrong fuel in it what? so it <laughs> okay i put the wrong fuel in it it was everyone's <laughs> fault it was everyone's <laughs> fault but now we had to give you the wrong fuel but i didn't know <laughs> yeah andrew did hand me the wrong fuel i didn't check it so we put the wrong fuel in this which is just bad so now we have to take the fuel out oh, oh my it's God. right at the top that's, that's too much Okay. But we're going for even the stand-up, which gets you wet, so I'm hoping the water isn't- I'm hoping the water isn't too cold, but let's try a start. Either way, we're doing it. It's happening. Will it start? I love this thing. She'll never let me do it. Oh. Oh. first try. That's not true. <laughs> it's getting kind of smoky. Uh oh. Sounds like she's uh, flooded. Andrew, we need your magic did, touch. Did you put the wrong gas in here too, Andrew? Yeah. <laughs> He's sabotaging us. Blame me for everything. I see how it goes. <laughs> we gotta use the Hummer to put the jet skis in. <laughs> and she's gone. So we've gotta hook that up to the jet skis over here. This is what we're gonna use to pull into the lake. So while we're hooking up the jet skis over here, they're emptying gas cans because we're still trying to get all the old gas out of here. Oh, 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 all right, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> We're burning daylight. We gotta get in the water quick. This is sketchy. In. I'm in a really sketchy spot here. <laughs> Riding a jet ski through the woods right now, guys. Look at this. Nobody's ever done this before. Jet ski in the woods. We gotta watch out for these trees. Oh boy, here it gets really bumpy right here. Whoa! Ah! Whoa! <laughs> I just bounced off the jet ski. <laughs> this is a tight turn. Let's see if we can make it. Oh yeah, no problem. He's got it. That was close. All right, and we're all the way down to the boat ramp. Sheesh. Digging the hole. There we go. All right, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Andrew's going in after it. He's pulling her out. I hope it comes out. Woo! That's some muddy water. All right, he's gonna leave that right there. And I'm gonna take this gator over to the dock. As soon as we unload this thing, this is gonna be the fun one. Stand up jet ski. She's going in. How cold is it? Ah, is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna stay dry? Yay! It's Thanksgiving and we're still jet skiing. That cannot be good for the jet ski. We're just running a bunch of mud inside it. There they go. Okay, I'm meeting these guys at the dock. So I'm gonna see if I can go find them. The best way to put the jet skis in is over there through the mud, but it's actually a lot easier to uh, jump on and off of them if we're over at the dock. It's way deeper. That way we're not shooting mud and dirt everywhere. Andrew told me before the bridge, turn left. So let's see if I can find that. The guys are already all down there. Before the bridge. I'm guessing that's like right here. I'll just do this, I guess. I don't know. These guys are just floating around in circles. It looks so goofy. I guess the water isn't that cold because these guys are just sending it. You can tell they're getting soaked. This has been a crazy time trying to get the jet skis in the water, but it couldn't be more worth it. Riding them around with my best friends on my private lake feels like a total dream come true. And this would not be possible without you guys, so thank you guys all so much for watching and subscribing to my channel. The stand-up is awesome. The water is a bit chilly, but not too bad, especially if I don't fall in the water. But now let's try to do some mega jumps using the other two jet skis. All right, guys, this is Hunter's first time ever driving a jet ski. 
He knows how to fly a drone. There's Camden, yeah! For the, for the grand, baby. There goes Andrew! Yeah! Flip it, oh, he got it! Woo! Yes! He's gonna fall. There's Camden, oh! Camden's having way too much fun out there. So Hunter thinks it's a good idea to try to learn the stand-up today. Yeah, that's exactly why it's not a good idea. And you're not getting out of the water anytime soon. Dude, my, my skin feels hot from being so cold. You know that feeling? Like, yeah. It does, it's like an ice bath. All right, we'll get them going. Just hit the gas and go. Yeah, go, 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 go. Good, hold, go, the full throttle. Go, 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 go. Yes. Now get up on your knees. You gotta turn. Oh, oh, my gosh. How did you break the jet ski all just right now? Is that a problem that it's three bars now? Go faster, you're not even on plane. Hunter got up. Yeah. Coming for us? He has no control. You gotta go a little faster. Oh, he fell. Oh, he's freezing. Get back on. Go, go, go. Swim. <laughs> 